What's going on guys? My name is Dave Higgins. Welcome to Sandbox Explorer. All right, um, I was going to make a video on Divinity Original Sin 2 and it froze on me, so I don't feel like it right now. So I'll do that again in the future, <laughs> but at the moment I am not going to do that. I would like to do something else. So uh, we're going to play Hard West today. We're going to check that out and see what's up with that. I have a lot of games that I would like to play and um, I don't want to play them before I play them on here for the most part. I want to do these first look videos for you so you can see them for the first time and you know check them out and see what's up with them. Um, so this is a to my knowledge tactical turn-based kind of strategy game um i played mutant year zero which i like it i have some complaints about handheld mode looking like absolute garbage like horrible but in docked mode it looks fine probably not compared to ps4 and whatnot because it's on all the systems but it does look pretty terrible in handheld mode but if you don't go directly from uh handheld or if you don't go directly from docked mode to handheld, it doesn't. It's not so bad. Um, what we got for options: games in English, cinematic subtitles, always run the setup page, auto adjust the bar in barter, world map, pawn quick movement. Oop, didn't mean to get out of that. Uh, interface, uh, cone of view indicator, reaction shot indicator, cover indicator, floating text, blah 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 blah. On to actual options. Audio and then the controls, which you switch abilities with Z ZR and LR, ZL and ZR. Switch character with Z and R. Character screen is minus. Pause menu is plus. Switch up with Y. Cancel targeting with B. Skip turn with X. Move use target with A. Um, rotate the camera with the D pad or the D uh, buttons, whatever. Uh, left and right. Change floor up and down. And move cursors L. So. And focus on active character by pressing R and use that for the camera. So, all right. Let's get into the campaign. Hard times. Let's do it. Optional modes. Combat. Uh, a smaller challenge, but a challenge nonetheless. Challenge with fair. Painful for veterans. So we're going to do, like, normal mode. That's To me, that's normal mode. Uh, easy, easy, normal, hard. So, um, combat injuries. When a critical character is killed, you will have to start the scenario from scratch. Um, Iron Man. The character gains debuffs when damaged badly, but over time they grow stronger from the experience. We're just gonna keep it without that for now. But you can do those if you want. Gameplay mods. Full deck. Reaction shot. Disable enemy abilities. Damage ignores cover. Express scarification. Huh. Cards of destiny. Squishy Posse, Unknown Health, Luck for Kills, blah, blah, blah. We're just going to leave it, like, base mode right now. Just to see what the base mode of it's like. The Old West was a hard place. The only thing in abundance was poverty and firearms. Combine alcohol and hopelessness with greed, envy, lust, and pride, and death is often the result. Crude cabins stood alone in the wilderness, cut off from the outside world. People knew to mind their own business, but isolated, they grew ignorant and superstitious. Some said the devil walked the earth, said lost souls haunted and possessed the living, pushing them past the edge of sanity. In this harsh and dangerous country, no one had it easy, including your family. You were six years old when you traveled the Oregon Trail with your mother and father. Food was scarce, and your father, despite being a fine tracker and a crack shot, failed to find any game. It was as if every animal on the trail was spooked by some evil force. Your old man found a small village and tried to trade equipment for food. 
but this village was overrun by outlaws. They took your mother and decided to trade you and your father to white slavers. But he managed to break free, told you to hide, and set out to save her. Okay, so you gotta save your mom, basically. At least for this mission, it seems like. Alright, so let's see what... The, do you want to play the tutorial? We promise, we promise it's short and useful. Yeah, let's, let's, play these two, two, let's play the tutorial. Hard West is turn-based, you start. In this mission, your father must rescue your mother, who's been kidnapped by evil men. Alright, so... You can only move within the range indicated. Which you do with a cursor. Okay. We want to go to... So that's like your health and six shooter and whatnot. Okay. Right, so let's go here. Cover is indicated by shield icons. Always stay in cover. There is half cover and full cover. Full cover provides the best protection. Okay. So it's similar to Mutant Year Zero, if you watch that video, uh, you have detected an enemy. All characters marked with red shield icons are enemies. Uh, the enemy is out of cover, so your shot will be very effective. Okay. Oh. Um, chance to hit seventy percent. So you can chance to hit is based on your character's aim ability. So confirm. Boom. Most actions require action points. Each character starts combat with two action points. Shooting typically uses up remaining action points. When all of your characters are out of action points, the enemy turn starts. Oh, he missed. Each character has a certain amount of luck. High luck protects, protects uh, from enemy shots, but when they miss, luck is depleted. Interesting. Uh, when enemies are uncovered, bypass their protection by flanking them. Okay. Alright, so... So I'm gonna... Take a shot, boom, got the outlaw, killed the outlaw. Remember to reload often, many weapons reload only a couple t rounds at a time. Interesting. Reload the active weapon with two rounds. All right, shadow spotting. In broad daylight, you can locate enemies by their shadows. You can even shoot them if you have an unobstructed line of fire. Some materials like cloth or foliage can be shot through. So, we're going to try to shoot through the... Oh, that's interesting. You can shoot through the cloth. Um, so... Ooh, missed. You ran out of luck and are bound to be shot. Hey, you must, you must take better cover. Okay. You can use objects in the environment to create more effective cover. So, we're going to go over here. And then... We're going to... Now the enemy's turn. Oh, they shot me. I got shot. Minus... Minus, uh... Where is it? I got 77 health right now. The red bar shows your hit points. When hit... Uh... Luck is per partially replenished. Oh, okay. Fire three shots with negative 20% aim penalty. So, very low chance to hit, but you get three shots to do it, so... Ah, but we did it. <laughs> That's it for the tutorial. You're on your own now. Well, that was a nice short tutorial. Alright, so now... Oh, where are the controls? Could you, like, zoom in and out? Move camera, focus on active character, change floor, move cursor. You can't zoom in and out. So you can change the floor up and down to see like what's on each floor. So we're going to rescue her. She's there. She was nowhere to be found. Oh, she's not there. You saw the box. 
what was in it. The simple wooden box contained a head. Your mother's head. Afterwards, oh. your father found one of the gunmen still alive. The dying man rambled on about some unholy obligation, about promises made by the devil himself, and the rewards they would find in hell. If only your prospecting was lucky enough, you could get on the Oregon Trail again. You and your father were alive, but all your supplies were destroyed. No way you'd make it to Oregon now. Your father decided to stay put and build a life right there. Many years passed, and you grew up. You became a man. So the two of you took over the Ruin Railroad Company buildings and tried your hands at farming. The soil was dry and the land was dangerous. You spent ten long years scratching out an existence from the dirt. Now you were grown. You figured two of you should try for Oregon again. It's what Mother would have wanted. Gold. Who could have thought they'd find it here? And that just when you needed cash for your journey. Um, excuse me. Time to strike it rich and get out of town before the outlaws and madmen showed up. They always do. The masked man controlled all the gold mining. His henchmen sold you a license that let you run nine prospecting operations. It's a lot. So. This is strange. Um, mine gold until your license runs out. So we can... Everyone said there was a placer, there was placer gold down in the ditch, but most of it was buried deep under hard rock. Um, you rinse the placer for gold, costing you fifteen dollars. You excavated. I don't have. Okay, I only have that much. So you considered unconventional extraction methods. Uh, I guess I'll use this. You collected place your gold deposits by rinsing gravel and sand in a flat metal pan. Okie doke. Everyone said... Uh, now I have more. So you excavated the deeper gold, costing you $40. You collected the deeper gold deposits, rinsing the rocks you excavated with a shovel. Okay. Uh, and then... Unconventional methods were effective, but expensive. You needed to obtain... First need to obtain or rent the proper tools. Go back. Uh, everyone said uh, the deeper gold deposits have already been exhausted, so I'm gonna leave for now. And I'm gonna go to the neighbor's house. It looks like the nearby farmhouse was inhabited. You paid them a visit and they turned out to be kind people. You exchanged pleasantries and the customary promises to help one another. More importantly, you met Florence, their beautiful, kind-hearted daughter. All you exchanged were a few glances, but you found yourself smitten. Oh, yeah. Not interested in prospecting themselves, the neighbors tipped you off about a couple promising spots. Well, that's very nice. Thank you. the day you first laid eyes on Florence, she was all you could think about. Oh, Florence. It wasn't just desire that she inspired in you. It was the way she saw the best in you. The way she made you feel. Okay, well, let's do Ford's shaft. The shaft had been thoroughly explored in the hard rock depth, but not much apart from that. So, do this. So we gain 20. And then we're gonna gain some more. Because we excavated further. Shaft me. So now we'll do the hard rock gold and hopefully we'll get more. We got six. Six dollar income. So now we got even more, but not too much. Ask the crime lord for protection. Mine gold. Uh, your father would you would make it on your own. You figured you need protection. You disagreed, but went along with his decision for the last time. For the last time. Can I, like, go back into here to mine this one? See if I get anything. Ah, I got 
46 this time. Um. Alright, so let's mine some gold for here. Got five bucks. Mine some more gold. Do we get anything this time? Four dollars. Collect to the hard rock, smash the course of the pickaxe. So oh, we got a bunch that time. All right, and uh, let's go to the collapsed mine. You heard about this place? A rich mine that collapsed years ago on top of a bunch of miners, burying them alive. The wives and children are still decorating the entrance with flowers. It looks like you could squeeze in, maybe get some gold they found. Uh, it might not be the smartest thing you do to do, but you got in. I right, found a skeleton with his legs crushed under a boulder. Uh. You wonder if he bled out before he died of thirst. His shirt, though stained, was still intact in very good quality. Let's go even deeper. Why not? The next cavern was cramped and full of stale air. You found a little gold, but not much. You moved onwards, wondering how far it was to the bottom. Yes, he did that. Wounded and weary, he, you eventually reached the end of the farthest tunnel. And there it is, a massive stash of gold. Um, the air must have poisoned you because you went to pick it up. You hallucinated a tall man with a suit, smiling and smoking as you turned to leave. He said, just so we're clear, that's mine, but you can borrow it for a while. Well, that's probably bad. Um, as you inch your way back to the sunlight, you heard a low rumbling all around you. You hurried, hands trembling, heavy drops of sweat rolling down your face. You had just emerged, blinking into the sunlight when the mine collapsed behind you. Damn. Just made it. Well, I don't know. I'm assuming there's like supposed to be ghost type stuff in this because it says like death is the narrator and like, that was some weird thing um so yeah, let's do the master gold whatever Ooh. oh we learned how to get gold so that's fine um i guess i should have gone there beforehand trade outpost so I spent 300 to learn how to get more gold. So that's fine. That's better. The proprietor was eager to exchange goods with you. You go to bartering. Uh, tobacco. Bloodstained shirt. Almost new. <laughs> I don't think. I don't, I don't. I'm assuming I don't want that. Sturdy shoes. Relic. Priceless relics have a soothing effect on all witnessing their mindless destruction. Grants healing over time to allies and radius. Well, I think I want to keep that. Guns. I can get a double gauge shotgun. Probably want that, right? Oh, this is bartering. So. <laughs> Relic, bloodstained shirt, cash. text from crippling injuries plus four movement can I just buy it can I try to can I try to spend 40 see if he'll do it I've also got tobacco dried healing her herbs sturdy shoes which I got Oh, I, I need to have. <laughs> I need to give him more. That's that's fine. I gotta be fair. I just wasn't sure. All right, now I can trade. Now I got a gun, so that's useful. Okay, let's head to the meadow. You notice a young native woman with a basket, picking flowers and carefully selecting herbs. Initially startled by your arrival, she then offered you healing herbs for sale. Um, you inspected the bucket, but decided to seek out healing yourself. Said, um, sure. After selling you some herbs, the young woman left. Yeah, now I got some of those. Whatever. Um, anything over here? Like, how do you. A church? I, sh I need to go to that, like, pr protection thing, but I kind of want to. God may have been away on business, but Reverend Gerv Gervais. Ricky Gervais? 
had a reputation for being a miracle worker. For a price, he could heal the most serious ailments. Those with less cash could leave a tip in the offering box, granting them a place in his prayers for the day. The prayer offering had a surprising high price for something that might not have worked at all. Uh, do I need to... Oh, here, have some money. What would the offering grant awesome powers? Who knew? Warren is now affected by blessed legs. Sure, great. Leave. Okay, I got blessed legs now. I don't know what that does. I'm sure it's somewhere, maybe it does something. But yeah, so let's go to the crime lord guy now and ask him for protection. Uh, the Mexican said he'd help you split your gold money with him. He left you a bunch of guns, some empty blessings, and a promise to send a vaquero to help out? I don't know what that is. Characters join the- I got Cheech. <laughs> I got a uh, navy gun, repeater rifle, uh, Kind of at homestead crossroads. Okay. Defend the homestead. So now we're gonna move our way to the homestead. The bandits are coming. It was the hour of reckoning. You took up defensive positions because we are prepared now. Alright. So we got Father, Warren, and Cheech. Um, this person has a larger role to play in the unfolding events. Make sure they don't die. He is not. Mangled foot. Damage to the foot results in reduced movement speed. This person has blessed his period movement. Plus so I have plus six movement, basically. Oh, I proceeded to combat by accident. Uh, I didn't prepare as way, the way I wanted to, but I, apparently I am prepared now, so we'll let that be what it is, I suppose. Oh, play. I was like, I thought it was going to open by itself. If Cheech dies, it'll cost you $200. I, I don't want that. That's a bad option. Enemies have been alerted. Father Morin must survive. So, where are the enemies? Oh, this, no, this is our guys, okay. Oh, I literally didn't see them at all. Don't shoot me. Oh, I missed. Okay, great. Enemy turn. Oh. Okay. No wonder I didn't see them. Alright, so let's try to shoot him. Nice. Boom. Still in the house. Um, can we shoot this guy? Nope. Um... Maybe we can move over to this window. Boom. Oh, missed. He's got a lot of luck. Um, I guess we should probably get him inside, too. I probably shouldn't have been right in front of the window. I should be next to the window. So hopefully he doesn't just get smackarooned. Oh. Okay. 
How many enemies are there? I don't even know. You didn't even know. We're running out of luck. We're running out of luck. He's like right in the open. I feel like there's not much luck left for any of them. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. Now they're all kind of out in the open, so. Shoot him. Boom. Dead. Shoot him. Ooh, missed. Oh, I should have moved him first. Can I get can I get him now? From here? No, I can't. Um If you press L and R you can like have them selected automatically. Or I press Z L and then it started to do it. If you press Z L or Z R, it selects the enemies so then you can cycle through them, ones you can hit. Um so we can hit him. He's got a good chance. He's got a good ch Oh! He had a lot of luck. Now he's gonna shoot someone. Or he's reloading. Ooh, Cheech got hurt. He still got missed, alright. All right. We're gonna shoot this guy. Oh, he's still alive. 44% chance, not super great chance. Also, I definitely wanna move him from like, at least like next to the window. All right. What? No. Is that gonna be his re the rest of his turn? Ah, crap. <laughs> um, I guess we'll... Uh -oh. oh, is he dead? Damn. Now it's gonna cost me $200? Damn, dude. This guy. Oh, I forgot you can change the camera angle with um, what's it called? All right. Cool. So he's dead. He's gonna try to shoot father. Oh, he's not. He's reloading. He's closing in on us. like to get rid of this guy. Oh, man. Alright, I guess I'm gonna get him over here. And who can he shoot? What? Oh, I thought that was the turn. Jeez. Father's almost dead. Five. Sh oh, I forgot I can do that. Reload. I don't know how much. Oh, I only have one left. Okay. I really like it if he successfully shot this guy. All right. Cool. Bandit was killed. Um. This guy needs to go. Still alive. Ah, oh, man, he's dead. All right. Well, let's 
try that again. Alright, so hopefully this time Cheech isn't gonna die. So now we know that, like, where those people are at. Oh, he's like chilling right... Oh, he's in... No, is that Cheech? That's our, that's our boy Cheech, right? Yeah. So there's like some guy... I'm confused as to how I'm supposed to like go on the offensive at first because like they're all just... They're all just hiding. So I like literally can't attack them. Um, so I guess I can just try to get into a good defensive position. I guess. So there's, here's a good one for Cheech, I guess. I can't really do anything on the first turn. That's weird. Um, yeah, I'll just skip my turn, apparently. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Missed. guys to come out of the cornfield, right? Alright, so... We're gonna go after this guy. Miss that guy. I'm trying to get this guy. Nice! Good shot, Cheech. Oh, we can go in the hallway? Oh, that's a good spot. Let's try to get this guy. Nice. Alright, cool. So we got a couple good shots off at first. This guy is going to try to make a shot. No, he's not. He's going to shoot it at Father or Warren. But he missed. He's going to definitely take a shot at Warren. He can't, can he? Oh, at Father. And so is he. He's going to do the same thing. That's probably going to hit him, right? Oh, no, it didn't? Alright, cool. Um. Can you cycle through who you are right now? Oh yeah, with Eleanor. Um, we need to get Cheech into like some decent range. If I can. Uh, I can't? Yikes. Oh, I could probably get him over here, okay. So we'll get Cheech over here. And then he can shoot at one of these two guys. So we'll try to get him get a better shot at him, so. Nice. Oh, he's still alive? Damn. Um. Let's try to get him, get him gone. He got missed. He missed him too. Um, alright, we're gonna take him. Finish the job. There we go. Alright, cool. Moritz was killed. Taking a shot at father, but ain't no one getting nothing. Alright, we're doing a lot better this time. Let's take a shot. Out of ammo reload. Alright, let's so, reload. What am I doing? Oh. Oh, I have it selected. Cool, so now his ammo is reloaded. Oh my goodness. There we go. Cone shot. Fire at all characters within the cone. Oh. Alright, so let's try to see if we can get... Nope, missed. But he lost some of his... luck, so that's fine. get Warren in on this. Reload the active weapon. Two rounds, so he's got four. He can't get any shots off at the moment, so I guess we'll keep him there so he can... When they come... If they don't come around next turn, I'll move him, but um, at the moment, we got Father. can take a shot at him. 
got one damage on him. Oh, I guess we can put him over here. Oh, I should have left him. Alright, Cheech got missed, which is good. He's gonna get a shot off it. Ooh. Nice, missed him. So we definitely don't want Cheech to die. So can we do that? Oh, I don't want to do the cone shot. Let's go. Nice. No, now it's time to get. That's all we can get. All right, we want to move him. Over to here. Uh, over to here. Nope, over to here. Yeah. Alright, so let's... Uh. Get him in here. He's gonna be exposed to the guy inside, outside the house, but... Oh, we can actually take a shot at him. Nice! Oh, that worked out really well. Perfect. Alright, so they're probably gonna come into the house now. Nope. Now, let's get him over by the window. He can take a shot at this guy. Pretty good shot taking, uh, getting a hit on him too. Just, all right, so he's gone. Let's move him back over into the doorway over here and the hall of the house. And no, Cheech is good. And then we're gonna fire. Missed. All right, Cheech. Oh, wrong way for the camera. I guess you can. Head on over here. No, you can't head on over here. Can you head on over by the bulkhead thing? Oh, what's this? You can go into the bulkhead? Uh... Oh, he searched it. Ooh. Okay, I'm glad that he missed. I, I didn't realize what that was. Now I know. Alright, so... Uh, you know what? Let's get him behind some coverage. At least some coverage. And let's reload that weapon. And then... We're gonna take a shot. And then we got rid of him, so now there's none left. So, we survived the attack, so his father was worried he should, uh, he said you should build an underground escape tunnel in case of another attack, but he also wanted to call the shots, so it was a good idea. Um, sure. We'll, we'll, we'll do that. We can make the decision ourselves, but whatever. Fought us to take care of the materials and construction. Meanwhile, the bandits were attacking elsewhere. You ran to make sure Florence was safe. So, Florence's parents didn't survive the raid. You found her among the dead. Ooh, weeping, she followed you home and never left. She never spoke of it, but brought fresh flowers to the house in memory every week. While you were gone, your father had a visitor, a well-dressed gentleman with a peculiar accent who seemed to appear out of nowhere. His magnificent cologne almost concealed his curious sulfur aroma. Could it be? No, that was madness. Ah, that's the guy from the tunnel. The gentleman was quite persuasive, convincing father to spend most of his cash on a lucky amulet. He was fed up with struggling, running scared from the bandits, crime lords, and the weather. He wanted the... Per prospecting business to take off and fast still though father seemed loath to discuss the matter he downplayed the power of the trinket insisting it probably wouldn't work still things improved father swiftly found new digging sites and extraction was efficient soon he was able to buy a better mining license so he can find mine more gold so i'm gonna end the video there because it seems like this is a pretty good idea on how the game's gonna go you're gonna basically be able to 
earn different ways to uh, mine gold throughout this map, you know, over around here. Um, and unlock different areas, unlock different parts of the story that is going to, like, depend... I'm assuming depending on your decisions, um, at least to some degree, um, I don't see any, like, leveling of characters, but you can collect items. So, um, and then you go into, you know, defense of whatever, I don't know if we're going to go on the offense at some point, uh, of attacking an area, but, um, yeah, it's like a tactical western game, basically, which is really cool. Um, I was kind of hoping that it was a little bit more along the lines of you're exploring and then you go into tactical strategy battling like it, kind of like Mutant Year Zero, honestly. I like that game a lot, but it's just the graphics in handheld mode really, really bummed me out. But other than that, it's a really good game, so I was hoping this was going to be a little bit more along the lines of that. It is, but it's different. It's got its own thing, and that's fine. But, um, yeah, so this is this game. Um... So, yeah, I don't know what it looks like in handheld mode. I will <laughs> tweet out my thoughts on that soon because I want to make sure you guys know that it is the same, similar, or terrible. But I'm assuming it's going to be relatively decent. Who knows? But, yeah, this game's pretty fun. I'm, I'm looking forward to going more into it and seeing what it's like. So, like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you would like to see more gameplay videos. And share if you think you know anybody who would be interested in seeing this. So, thank you for watching, guys. Stay tuned, and I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.